there, my name is Jane Harvey, and we're gonna jumpstart today, continuing to unpack what the Apostle Paul referred to as the armor of God. Today, we take a look at the sixth and final piece of armor, and that's the sword of the Spirit. St. Paul tells the Ephesians, and take the sword of the Spirit. That sword is the Word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times. Pray with all kinds of prayers, and ask for everything you need. To do this, you must always be ready never give up, and always pray for all of God's people. In this piece of spiritual armor, Paul makes the Word of God itself the sword. So what does this mean exactly? When Paul said this, there was no Bible like we have today. So although the Bible is called the Word of God, it is not exactly what Paul is referring to here. I believe he is referring to the beauty and the entirety of the heart of God which all those years prior, we only partially knew because it was through Jesus that we came to know more fully his Father. It wasn't until God sent his son Jesus that the Word of God, the Spirit of God, and the heart of God was lavished on us. And in order for us to pass on this revelation, to go out and teach about God and his Son, God knew we would need a way to be holy and true. Jesus said, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, a comforter, counselor, intercessor, advocate, and strength, and he may remain with you forever. The helper is the Spirit of Truth. So it is this Spirit of Truth which we invoke that helps us to pray without ceasing, keeping our hearts pure and words true. This very spirit imbued with the heart of God is our sword to protect us from all Satan wants to destroy. So today, let's ask him to help us keep sharpened our sword of the spirit by praying without ceasing, publicly, privately, silently, and out loud. No matter the condition of our life, young or old, triumphs or failures, to pray whether we feel like it or not, and to pray not only for ourselves, but for all God's people. Make it a great day and I'll see you next time.